back to Mr. World 2019. We Filipinos were very proud to give it the chance to share the beauty of our country with this world. It's just breathtaking to have everybody here in one stadium. But for the break, we revealed the choices of the three judging panel. I'm here with the five fast track winners who, by winning their respective events, were fast tracked to the semi final. Of course, my lovely co-host Megan will now reveal the seven judges' choices who will be joining them. Megan? Thank you, Mikael. Yes, only seven places left. They are top 12. Let's see who has gone through from the Americas and the Caribbean. Tonight, not only will we crown Mr. World, but the highest place candidate from each continental zone will win the continental title. Judges have chosen. From the Americas and Caribbean, we have two more slots. Who will it be? They are. Oceania. And again, congratulations to 
our Mr. World Top 12. Okay, congratulations gentlemen. But now I think it's time to get to know you all a little bit more. Maybe something that we don't know on. Okay? So South Africa. Hello. Hello. You look amazing tonight. Thank you. Same as same to you as well. Now, I hear that you've been having some embarrassing moments in Mr. World. Please tell us. We want to know all about these embarrassing moments. Um, I, I think it's very First of all, it's absolutely amazing to be here. It's one of the greatest kind of arenas in the world. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, and it's, it's, it's been a crazy time for me. And unfortunately, I don't speak the language too well. But everybody's kind of so accommodating and they're so nice. Um, and I was actually going to buy shoes once. And I would kind of grab them. And in the rush of it, I forgot to pay. And I was kind of walking out. And because everybody here is so friendly, I heard, sorry sir, sorry sir, and I just kept kind of walking for at least 50 meters. I just kept saying, sorry sir, sorry sir, until I stopped by the robot, and she kind of looked at me, and I, I held the shoes, and I realized the tag was gone. She was like, sir? I gave them back, and I turned away, and I'm telling us for something. Didn't realize that she was actually asking for the payment, huh? I, I kind of just felt like I was a thief, so I thought the best thing to do is high tail and all. Just walk on up. All right. <laughs> it's okay. Heartwarming moment anyways. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you guys. And we have Ireland. Ireland. Okay. Now your roommate is Mr. Czech Republic. And there's a little... I don't know if it's embarrassing for you. I think it's more embarrassing for him because I hear that he snores a lot. Yes. We, we were having issues. Unfortunately, he's not here to defend himself. But um, yeah, we were having a few issues. But we're still talking. It's still fine. <laughs> You'll get a good night's sleep after today. Yeah, in the early hours, probably. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. Now, Mr. Nepal, a multimedia winner. Now, since you're the multimedia winner, maybe this is like a multimedia question. If you could have any kind of superpower, what would it be? Well, that would be flying, obviously, because I like to travel lots of places. If I got the power of flying, then I would love to place, I would love to fly all over the world. That would be great, you know. You can come back to the Philippines again. Again, again, I'd love to come back to the Philippines by flying like this. Yeah, I love that. All right. Thank you. Okay, Tonga, you sang such a beautiful song earlier. Now, when did you realize your love for singing? Uh, first of all, I want to give glory to God uh, because I wouldn't be here without Him. Uh, especially, this is the first time for Pacific Island at this step stage, step on a massive stage like this. Uh, the answer to that question is. Um, growing up as a kid, you tend to have habits, and my habits were singing. At the age of three, my parents would take me to church, and ever since then, I'd sing from church. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Reminds me of my childhood, actually. All right, thank you so much, Tonga. Mexico. All right. So, you guys have been away for quite a while, and I'm sure you miss family. So, if your mom were here beside you today, what would you say to her? I will say to my mother first. Oh, hi everyone! Welcome to the beach! I'm so glad to be here with you. And I want to... To say to my mom... Mama, te amo! I wish you were here, but... I know you are watching me at home and you're so proud of me. I'm so proud of you because you raised me alone. Thank you. Great words from a loving son. Thank you so much, Mexico. It's okay, it's okay to pull a tear over there. It's fine, it's fine. All right, Lebanon. Okay, so Lebanon, I hear that you have a different kind of talent. What is this talent that everybody keeps talking about? Firstly, Mabuhai Philippine, Mahal Kita. So basically, guys, I have a very useless talent that I can sleep in less than 10 seconds. No way! So if you just stood here, you could fall asleep. Oh gosh, she's already sleeping. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much, Lebanon! Alright, Mr. Philippines! Philippines, how was that? Doing good, looking stunning to me. You as well? Now, okay, Philippines, I was calling you by your first name. Grew up with my brother and sister, by the way, so I know JV. 
But what is the most fun thing that you have done at Mr. World? Because we're the host country. So what has made it the most fun? Wow, actually there's too many, but if I'm gonna pick one, maybe it's gonna be the Slippery Stairs TV show. <laughs> yes, uh, we showered in lube and swam in lube, so I don't wanna see lube for a long, long time. And uh, all of the winnings we actually acquired from that show is we're gonna donate it to the Toloi Foundation. All right, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Philippines. Okay, Northern Ireland, you know, we're always afraid of things. Like, there are just things that we're afraid of. I'm afraid of heights, and I hear that you have a phobia. Tell us more about it. A phobia cats. Yeah, we've done the extreme challenge down at the army base. And there was a, literally, it must have been about a six month old kitten. So everyone was all around it, like all lifting up, stroking it. I absolutely ran. <laughs> I ran to the other side of the room, so I'm absolutely petrified of cats. Oh my goodness, I guess I can't introduce you to my pet cat, Salem, then. No can do. All right, well, it's nice to know. We'll keep the cats away from you. All right, thank you so much, Northern Ireland. Okay, England. All right, England. Now I hear you're into karaoke. You are. Okay. So who's your karaoke partner here at Mr. World? Uh, firstly, Mabu High Philippines. Thank you so much for hosting uh, such a fantastic competition. I'm really proud to be here representing England, and uh, I just want to say hello, Mum and Dad. They're up there. <laughs> that is a great question. So my duet partner in the karaoke is Mr. Tonga, because what I do. Is he sings and I mine. And then we sit there and we do a duet and it sounds incredible. So it's kind of like charades going on over here. He's singing and then you're just like moving along to it. I, I, I do this. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Well, we hope to see that in the future, hopefully off screen. <laughs> All right. Now we have Austria. Okay, Austria. Now, a little tidbit for everybody out there. You're actually half Filipino. Yes, or? <laughs> Yes, and what did you feel when you found out that Mr. World would be held in your mother's homeland? So first of all, Magandang Gabi everyone, Kalabayans! How are you guys? It was, finding out that Mr. World will be held here was incredible. My mom went bananas. She's here somewhere, I haven't spotted her yet. With my entire family, they're actually from Laguna Los Baños. And it's an absolute pleasure to be hosted by my second home country, the Philippines. Thank you, everyone. All right, thank you so much, Austria. Okay, Dominican Republic. Now, we're all about health and fitness, and you're actually a spinning instructor. Yes, I am. First of all, my Buhai Philippines. I'm a Buhai. So what got you into becoming a fitness instructor or a spinning instructor? I just love to transform people's lives and I think it's a very good way to transform their lives doing fitness and doing exercise. Alright, well, maybe you can show us a thing or two when we visit the spinning studio, hopefully in Manila. You can be a guest, right? Of course, why not? I'm sure a lot of people would sign up for that. Alright, thank you so much, Dominican Republic. Okay, Brazil, the last of the 12. Alright, okay, so you visited Toloi Foundation here in the Philippines. And you actually asked Father Rocky especially for a hug. Why is that? Firstly, Mapu, hi Filipinas! Um, that was a really important day for me because it was Father's Day in Brazil and I lost my father two years ago. And the father's hug is really on, on that for Jewish kids, you know. And when he gave me the hug, oh, I feel like my dad's hug. You know? And again, thank you very much, Father's hug. That's really, really good for me. Thank you very much. It's always an amazing feeling visiting the Foundation and Father Rocky. So you're very lucky you got to see them. All right, we will now know our top 12, and we're one step closer to finding out Mr. World 2019.